Here's part one of our fourth interview with Graham Goebel, famous for the Little River Band. There's two best of releases from Little River Band, and they're right behind me. You can pick them up where you buy your music. Stephen Housden, who was with the Little River Band from 1981 to 2006, now owns the name Little River Band. We're going to have a link to the full explanation, according to Graham Goebel, of why they don't own the name anymore. He, B. Bertles, and Glenn Shurek, who was their lead singer. And Stephen is not even in the band anymore, but he owns the name. The only guy in the Little River Band right now who was part of any hit, and this is, and we're talking one, was Wayne Nelson, who sang The Night Owls. And that was 1981. In this clip, again, I asked Graham Goebel where it sets how he's feeling about being one of the founders of LRB and not really owning the name. Yeah. And, has, there uh, been, has there been any movement uh, or anything... Things are the same when it comes to the band name. Nothing's really changed, right, since the last time we talked? It'll never change uh, other than uh, other than really the U.S. band uh, with Wayne Nelson out front is getting pretty tired. I mean, I, I saw something the other day, a couple of minute clip, and the, Wayne's, Wayne's getting up there a bit, and, and it's, um, his voice is nothing like the wonderful voice he used to have. And but 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 interestingly, I saw a comment. Someone said, "Look, you know that this is what on the YouTube. You know that these this is not the real band. It's got no original members in it." And then a response to that was, "We don't care. We just want to see the hear the music." That that was sort of like, it's either this or nothing, and and so that was one person's post. But I think that represents a section of the public that think, well, I mean, because public, the public do go to tribute um, bands and that's fine. Like if they'd, and we would be fine if they were calling themselves a tribute band. It's just that they still are using, even a couple of weeks ago, using Glenn Shorrock's picture to advertise their show. This is not right. And, and the promoters are doing this. Um, they use our um, our music to, to make people think, well, this is how it will sound. Well, of course, it doesn't sound anything like that at all. And that's the thing that's wrong. So if you're going to see a tribute band, uh, you know that, okay, these are not the real guys and it doesn't sound like the original, but we're here to enjoy the music. And that's fine. You know, me, me and Abba have got a number of tribute bands out that they would endorse. And we would, there's an Australian tribute band called Cool Change that I endorse. They're, they're a good band, but they're not pretending to be us. They're, they're, they're uh, everyone's well aware that they're just presenting the music. You know, and so, someone, I got to tell you, let, let me just interrupt. Someone had said on my comment, keep that thought. Someone had said in my comment that uh, one of the members had signed uh, a greatest hits or something, I'm paraphrasing, but he looked up at the fan and said, by the way, none of us are on this album. Yeah. So, so, so why, would they, why would they sign it? I mean, and, and members, uh, at least one member of their band said, it's such a great feeling to walk out on stage and get a five-minute encore before we even play a note. I mean, how can they do that? I mean, really, it's extraordinary. So, that's, uh, so that won't ever change unless um, Steve Houston one day has an epiph epiphany and and just returns the name to where it should be and close down their website that that's really all we look for we, we won't be, be performing again because we've we've gotten to an age where that won't be possible but there will be a film uh, john there, there will be a musical I, i've written a wonderful film and musical about this whole story about my life uh, which which includes the incredible situation of losing our name, the betrayal within the band, all of that will be a part of this wonderful musical that we've got, that, that we're actually looking now actively for investment to make this movie. Because when, when you look at the Bohemian Rhapsody movie, what that's done for Queen, we've got a catalogue uh, that can... And and a and a story that's heart wrenching for a lot of people, and um, it would be very dynamic. And so 
that's where all my energies are going these days. I've spent a, a, a few years putting together the ultimate hits and masterpieces. Now that's done. The whole catalogue has been remastered and will be coming out next year on, in, in, on CD. And, and then, and then and not too far away, like in, in 2025, we start celebrating 50 years for the first album, like the Beatles have done. So there will be the Little River Band album will come out in 2025 with a, with a vinyl and a special release, and that will will be honouring the 50-year anniversary. But to me, the way to kick it out of the park is a film, is a musical, because then the world will really get to know what, what happened, but also then celebrate this great band and the wonderful music and singing that we did that was arguably as good as any anything anyone's ever done well remember that quote from glenn fry the the greatest singing band in the world and as you were describing it other guys representing this you can't have other guys representing this when glenn fry tells the original guys the greatest singing band in the world <laughs> you know yeah, but they use that in their advertising you see oh. that and and it's just disgraceful because it's not right you know, because all, all they're saying is that they're saying he said that about Little River Band. He didn't. He said he said it about the original singers and the records. That that's what he he was talking about. But they anyway. Well, enough about them. That that I think that they have lived with, particularly Wayne and Stephen have lived with this um, uh, deception and this representation, or should I say, misrepresentation, for many 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 years and. Surely, well, not surely, it is taking a toll on their inner life. It has to. If you just get up every morning and go out and have to hide part of who you are in the world, but also endure, as, as it becomes wider, uh, wider known, endure the vitriol and the, the uh, well, basically abuse that comes towards them from all over the world. Uh, I wouldn't... <laughs> I wouldn't enjoy that at all. And you can't just put that out of your mind. So I, I think inevitably it will wind down. And But but whether uh, Stephen would hand it on and, and get someone else to go and do it, I don't know. Don't know. And, and quite frankly, it doesn't occupy a lot of my time these days. I'm moved beyond that and I'm on to let's make a movie, let's make a musical. Yeah. That's what I'm working toward. One last thing about that years ago, someone had told me that I just got into radio in in the early 80s and and I was talking about because cocky, right? You're young and you're cocky. You're 22 years old. And someone came up to me and said, you know, reputation is not your job. Your reputation is other people's job. You represent yourself yeah. well, be held accountable, learn, don't get defensive, all blah, 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 all those nice mother statements. But reputation, they're going to decide what your reputation is. Yes. And that hit me. <laughs> uh, well, and it's so true. Uh, but, of course, I think the number one thing in, particularly in public life, but just, but, but even, maybe even more so in private life, is is respect. I mean, if you, uh, it's nice to sort of feel at the end of the day that there are people that respect you for your work and your honesty and your integrity, all of those things. Um. And if you're living without respect, that, that that's a very big burden to carry through life. And so that's the way I see it is that I know with the original band, we've got respect by the back, by the truckload. I mean, people understand that we had standards and it and it's there for everybody to hear on masterpieces and ultimate hits. So we're very proud of that. You know, we can hold our head high and maybe one day we will get into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It will be us. It won't be anyone else. It'll be the originals. Um, but, and but that's, that's what would happen. That's what would happen. Uh, you know, a lot of people criticize Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but if you guys got in, it would be those. It would be you guys. Of course it will be. Yeah. 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 I know. 